Once upon a time, there was a great and glorious king who lived in a beautiful palace. I think people will be blown away by what they see. Bienvenue dans Versailles. What kind of man do you think I am? I think, along with David and Jalil, I said the most important thing I wanted to try and achieve in the series is to show how human this man was. Mama! I'm scared. <laughs> and so the dreams and the visions in episode one that you see are sort of a way of uh, demonstrating and, and sharing how his process worked and how he got to a place in um, becoming absolute monarch and creating this building. Internally, I, I talked a lot to Jalil about The Godfather and how Al Pacino operated in those films, especially in the first one, how he had to sort of rise to power. Bow to your king. Finding power uh, was a real journey. I am the state! Are you with me, brother? Do you have my back? I think it's what a uh, big factor of why people will enjoy watching the show is how these brothers interact with one another and where their relationship goes and ends up. What's wrong? You're shaking. It really was very common for monarchs at that time or in, in court to have more than one romance going at a time. My lady. If you were the king, you know, it's sort of obligatory. Um, <laughs> I remember the first day we shot in Versailles. It was an idea of me doing a monologue in the Gallery des Glaces. The sun fell below the clouds, and orange light shone through all of the windows. They might all see the glory of France. There was just something really magical that will never happen again. I'm blown away. You know, you work on a job for six months, at some point maybe you become that blasé actor where you're sort of, uh, we're filming in Versailles again. It's never happened.